Welcome along everybody. Um, this is going to be kind of a beginner's guide for Fortnite because I've noticed quite a few people that comment on my videos and they say, you know, they've just started playing Fortnite and stuff like that and they've made a couple of videos and then I noticed little things that they could improve on. I'm not saying I'm the best player in the world by far, but I want to try and share what I've learned and hopefully if it helps them people, then I'm all for it and little, little hints and tips that will get you hopefully to the top five it's hard to um replicate a final battle because each final battle is different do you know what i mean is you don't know what the other person's got they could have a shock bow or a flame bow or whatever you don't know they could be a complete sweat that builds like a maniac i can't really explain the final fight between two or three of you because it varies but i'm just going to show you how i move through the game and try and well i get to the top top three most of the time nearly every game I'll show you look so this does work do you know what I mean look there you go there's my solo stats as you see look matches played 4338 top 25 3200 top 10 2700 so it works quite a lot like I say in the final battle between you and one other person or whatever I can't really say what's going to happen to that but I'm going to run through it it's going to be done in a bot lobby because it's a bit hard doing it in a live game because I've got to keep an eye out for sweats and it's a bit hard to keep an eye out for sweats and try and commentate in an educational sort of way if you get what I mean. So if I can do it in a bot lobby, I'm not going to run around the bot lobby going, yeah, this is what I normally do. I normally shotgun everybody, bang, 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 yeah, 20 kills. I'm going to treat this like a normal game, how I move through the map. And I'm going to try and replicate it as well as possible. And each time the storm I have to move, I'm going to stop and I'm going to explain what's going through my head at that time. I'm going to be doing it from Misty Meadows, but obviously you can do this from any POI. It doesn't have to be Misty Meadows, but this is just going to show you the thought process of what you should be thinking when you already see the storm and where you've got to go and stuff like that and how to use the environment. And yeah, I hope this helps, man. And if it does, feel free to throw a like and subscribe. Again, this is more for your beginner player. It's not really for people that are veterans or sweats or really good players because they're just going to think fuck that I know how to do that man I'll just build and shotgun everyone which is fair enough do you know what I mean but this like I say this is just so a little starter guide and I'm trying to try and explain as much as I can the game is going to be a little bit unpredictable because I don't know what's going to happen but we'll see how it goes anyway let's join with my little bot say hello bot but I'm going to as I'm going through it like I say I'm not just going to run around and kill 20 bots and go yeah that's what I do every game against people because it's not I'm going to keep it, so there might not be loads of kills in it, but I'm going to be explaining each step of the way what I do and why I'm doing it sort of thing. And like I say, hopefully it helps some people. That's what I'm, Like I say, I'm just a casual. I'm okay, I'm quite good at the game, I've got quite a few wins, but I'm not nowhere near, you know, brilliant level, so I'd never claim to be like that. So please don't think that I'm trying to say I'm some great player or nothing like that. But I have learned a few things that maybe I could share with people that have just started playing, who are having a little bit of trouble... You know, little things they don't know they're getting caught out on and stuff like that. Sort of that thing. Helping the community. Right, so let me just... I'll just wait till I've... Um, this is loaded up. Right, so now I can see the storm. Uh, not the storm. The bus is going. Misty Meadows is the last spot. Now, if you're sort of a new to the game, you don't want to be landing at the very first POI the bus is going. Because most of the people are going to land there. Because people just want to get off the bus and just kill everybody. Always remember, the priority of the game in a pub is to win the game. You don't get any extra points for eliminations. Do you know what I mean? You just want that victory right. In arena, it's different. Because obviously in arena, you get uh, you get uh, hype for eliminations. In pubs, it doesn't matter if you kill one person or ten people. As long as you're the last one standing. So you don't want to land at one of these, like here, right here. Because loads of people will be going there. Misty Meadows is perfect, it's quite near the end. There might be a couple of people landing there, but it won't be too bad. A lot Lazy Lake will tend to be quite a busy area. So right, straight away now, I know exactly where I'm landing. Every time, I've got my own little route. And you want to try and come out of it and get your landing perfect, so you land sort of on the ground faster than anyone. So right, I'm going right in between these two buildings in front of me. No, have I come a little bit low? No, it looks, no, looks right to me. See what I mean? So look, he's still a little bit high, so I'm already on the ground. Listen out for the chest. Yep, there's chest in there. 
Now the first thing I'm thinking is I want to get a shield and a gun, obviously. Bang, there's a shield. Pop the shield. First thing you do, get shield. Now you want to move through here quite quick. Don't be hanging about because of the storm and stuff like that. You want to be moving quite fast. Again, don't worry about these bots. Oh, are you coming in or what? For fuck's sake. There we go. So like I say, I know where all the chests are in here, so I'm already well aware of the route I'm going. Have a little look up here. No, right, cool. And again, this is just for Misty Meadows. You may have your own POI that you learn inside out. That's right, there's another shield. Bang. I can hear people coming, but I want to get this shield off first. Just in case it's a sweat, you're going to need all the shields you can get. Right, now let's go and sort these out. You die, boy. We're done. Just come over here, kill this one. So I'm not thinking about the storm or anything now. I'm just trying to get rid of these, get these out of the area. Wherever they are. Where's the other one? All the way down on the beach. Don't stay in the open too long. Right, give me a tactical. Right, so now I'm thinking, right, I've lost my shield, I need to go and find more shield. But again, I know what route I'm going, so I won't go out of my way. I'll have a little look down just to see if there's anything at the sides. But I try and stay, you want to try and stay in the buildings as much as possible. If you see any fruit, pop that. I haven't got to move for the first... Oh, I only had one, so I thought I had two. So I haven't got to move for the first storm. I can see that straight away. Cool. Right, so now I know I can relax a little bit. And then I'll just be moving like my normal path each time. Like I said, I'll fix that on the same path. I've seen him over there. I'll worry about him in a minute. Pick up med kits. I'd normally just leave that one anyway, unless it was a player really harassing me. I'll kind of catch him on my way, if you get what I mean. Because you're on a bit of a time limit, so you want to get... And there he comes over. So we're going to clear out these. All the way back down here. Like I say, I know where I'm going every time. Now I already know. One thing I'm looking for is obviously to get full shield and med kits because of the storm. Now I always try and carry three med kits. They're pretty useless sort of... Um, Uh, and no, after the third storm, because the the dad the, it will start ticking for five. The storm will start ticking for five, so they're pretty useless after that. Is there another one there? Do they all land at Misty Meadows or something. Oh, that's not one. Right, clear all this. There's another one. <laughs> so right, now I'm still sort of making my way over to this one. Because like I say, I'm sticking to the same route. See if I can find any floppers. Find, now I'm looking for more shield. I've got my med kits. I've got a nice shotgun. A little safe there, but I can't be asked to collect it. And I'm already thinking here, right, now I'm going to go over to the other side. So like I say, it's always good to have what way you're going to plan in your head. Instead of just kind of running around sort of like this. Is there anyone over there? No. What about there? No. Um, where's the next chest? Because you're leaving yourself wide open to be in lasers. You need to know exactly where you're going each time so you can rush through it. And then just kill people en route. Do you get what I mean? You don't want to be staying in the open too much. Like here. I'm already thinking, right, I could get lasered from the opposite side by someone from a window. So I need to get across here quickly. But this is going to create noise, so I want to get out of it quickly as well, if you get what I mean. Right. Just have a stop, listen. No footsteps. 
Okay, cool. Now I know it's a little bit clear if you get one, man. Right, there's my other shield. Right, so now I know I'm all okay for shield. Uh, I could carry that bow if I wanted. I'm not too... Uh, I'm not sure. Alright, I'll take it anyway. So like I say, I'm moving through here. I already know what I'm doing. I don't need to worry about the storm because one, I'm in the safety zone. Plus the second one, I've already got three med kits anyway. Now the first storm will only tick for one once it passes you. Even when it gets to the end, it's just going to tick for one. The second storm, when it passes you, it will tick for one. And then when it gets to the end, it will start ticking for two. The third storm... It will tick for two when you're in it, and when it gets to the end, it will start ticking for five. That's when you want to really start getting your ass out of the storm before it gets to the end of the third one. Now you've sort of cleaned out the area. You know the area is safe-ish. There might still be someone lurking about, so just always be aware, but the area's mostly cleaned out now, so I don't need to worry too much. And again, this is only in a bot lobby, but this is how I'd go through every game. So now I'm just kind of looting stuff um, and waiting for... What's that under there? Is that a... Yeah. Now I'm just kind of looting stuff and waiting for... To see where the next storm's going to be. Sometimes you can just... If you've got enough mats and you've got enough weapons you're happy with, you can just chill. Just sit here. Just sit here. Just have a little seat. Because you haven't got to move. Don't go rushing to find people. You don't need to. You're, you're quite safe here. Wait for the next storm. Do you know what I mean? I would like to find an assault rifle though. So now I'd be sort of uh, wandering about looking for an assault rifle. So now I'd be thinking about, alright, smash the cars up. I'd do that last. Because you're leaving yourself in the open, you don't know who's about. But now I know the area is quite clear, so it's quite, it's mostly safe to do it. So now, right, I'm looking at where the next storm is. It's over near Catty Corner. Okay. So I know I've got 1 minute 41 before it's, the storm's going to move. It's going to take about 10 seconds to get to me. And I know I've got vehicles around me, so I haven't got to panic too much. And I also know there's a speedboat down there as well. So like I say, I already know where everything is to get to the safety zone quickly. That'll do. So no rush. Don't feel you need to rush. Like, oh, look, look, look. There's the safe zone. I better get there as quick as possible. No, man. The next storm is going to be the second storm. And it's only going to tick for two. Well, it's going to tick for one when it goes past me. And then it's going to start ticking for two when it gets to the end. So I've got a minute now before it starts moving. Then I've got about a minute and a half before it gets to the point where it's going to start ticking for two. So I've still got another two and a half minutes. And I've got three, three med kits. So I haven't got to worry. I'm quite relaxed around there. I haven't got to worry about the storm at all, even though it's the second storm. It's only in the third one you need to start worrying. So now, let's have a look. I'll get to a little safe zone. Don't start looking at your map in the open because you'll get shot. Kind of just make sure you're just safe. Have a little look about. Right, now sort of, I start planning where I'm going to go. It's like, right, okay. There's the bridge here. There's a truck there. There's a little skip down here that I can jump in and teleport to Katie Corner. Got to watch out for people up here, maybe coming sliding down. You're going to have a few coming from Lazy Lake. There might already be someone in Catty Corner. You might have, There'll be quite a few in Retail Row. Then you'll have people from the Spire coming across this way. So I'm already working out what direction everybody's coming from, if you get what I mean. There might be someone at the top of this Spire that's going to build up there with height, looking down on everybody. I'm trying to work out now where everybody is. And where I'm going to go. I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm not going to go around the road. Because if I go around this road. I'm going to be. I could be lasered from the other side. So I'm going to come up this back mountain bit. Because it's a bit more secretive. There's more mountains and shit. And then just nip in here. On this bridge. And use this truck. And like I say. I'm not too. You don't have to be too worried about the storm. I could use a car here. But I know that I can run it. So I haven't got to worry about the car. So I can just sort of chill. I can get a few mats along the way if I want. Smash some trees up. I'll let myself get caught in the storm. So you can sort of see. If you want to spend a bit of time behind the storm. Don't start wor Don't worry. It's going to kill you. Because most people. They're going to be heading towards. Most people now will be in the safety zone. Because they don't want to get caught in the storm. I don't know why. They're scared of it. But you don't need to be scared of it. Not at this point. Because it's only going to tick for two. When it gets to the end. And I've got three medkits. So most people will be in here, and I'll be coming up behind them. 
Do you get what I mean? They're not they're not going to be looking. People in here now are not going to be looking backwards. They're more going to be looking. All right, who's in Catty Corner? Who's in Retail Road? They're not going to be looking. Oh, who's coming behind me from Misty Meadows? Because they kind of assume that everybody's already in the safety zone. If you get what I mean. So use that to your advantage sometimes. Come up behind them. So I don't need to chill. I can just bop about. Take my time. Have a little look about. Just check where people are first. See if I can see anyone. No. Okay. Right. Come down this way. See, look. The edge of the storm's right there. I ain't even got to worry. Just come around here. Use the hills as a bit of cover. Never stand in the open. Just sort of having a look about going like that. Because you will get lasered. And all, when you're running, always jump. Because it makes it harder for people to laser you. If you're running in a straight line like this, people just laser you down. Whereas if you're jumping, it makes it harder for them to hit you. And especially with the sniper rifles. My mum's husband, he used to play it. And he used to just run like this in a straight line. And he used to get sniped all the time. And I'm like, stop running in a straight line. Jump. Because it makes it harder for them. Try and jump at weird angles like this. Because it makes it harder for them to snipe you because you're jumping in an unpredictable way. If you're just running in a straight line, they just go bang, snipe you. So right, now I come up here. But first of all, I know I need to heal up. So I'm just having a little look. Make sure there's nobody around me. No one's come from that way because I've just come from there. Have a little check there's no one around the cliffs. The storm's a little bit over there. So I know pe other people are already thinking about getting to this area. So I've got enough time. Now when this next storm starts, it's going to tick for two. And when it gets to the end, it's going to start ticking for five. And that's when you want to be out of it and not getting clipped by the storm anymore. And like I say, this is just an example. Each POI is different, but it's good to know where everything is in the POI. Now I know there's chilies in here as well. In this building here, there's chilies all around this catty corner. So I can grab a chili and it help me run faster. Just always keep an eye out in case someone pops out from one of the buildings. We've got plenty of time. I'm right near the storm, so I ain't got to worry too much. Here they all are. And even if you don't need these at the time, you know, there's a shield there if you needed it. Even if you don't need these at the time or in a game you're in, just remember where it is because a couple of games later, you might be coming across the same spot and you might need them and you go, oh, oh yeah, I saw them chilies there a couple of games ago. Or oh, yeah, I saw a campfire there a couple of games ago. Try and remember where everything is in the game. Every little thing, because in some games it could be quite useful. So right now I'm thinking there could be people coming from Catty Corner and Retail Row. Quite a few people crossing there. So I want to try and come up the back of it. Because there's a lot less cover and I can see... Just make sure no one's coming behind you. You might still get lazy. Just have a little check for movement. People will be moving now. Right, just keep an eye out for all the hills. As you can see I've got plenty of time. So I'm not going to run in a straight line. I'm going to try and use cover of the hills. Let's have a check. Make sure you can't see anyone. Again, each game's different. It's just about being a bit aware of what's around you. Do you get what I mean? Right, little get now I'm thinking, right, it gets this little hot dog truck. Let's have a check on top of the mountains. No, actually I don't want to go to hot dog truck. We'll stay here first. Use it as cover. No one can shoot me from that direction. Because as you can see, unless they come up behind me. Check the cliffs. Just have a little quick check around here. Don't move around too much like this. Because people will see the movement. Just try and be a little bit more still. So people can't notice the blur. So, right, I want to move down. Because I'm a bit of a target here at the top of the mountain. So we'll try and get a bit of cover. Come around here. Is there a door in here? I'm sure there is. Right, just come chill here for a sec. Now we wait here. This is what I'm thinking now. Now I'm waiting here to see where the next storm is. I'm quite safe. No one's going to come in. Just chill here. And then we'll see where the next one is. Right, it's right over there. So now already I'm planning which way I'm going to go. How are we going to best do this? You're going to have a couple of people up here. Coming from retail row. Maybe one's already got height here. Do you know what I mean? So it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. So what I'm thinking now is, alright, I'm going to come down here. Come across here and come around the back this way here. And then, because someone's going to be at the top here watching this direction. They're not going to be expecting someone coming from the back. So I'm like, okay, and then I can use all these little hills as cover. As I'm sort of sneaking around the back, if you get what I mean. So right, now we'll start moving. Because again, you don't want to get clipped in the storm now. Because of the amount of damage it does. Always keep an eye out this way. See? Now just slide down here. I'm using all these hills as cover. Line of sight and shit. So always check, always check around everything. If you want to collect mats along the way. 
got plenty of time. Look, I'm right near the safety zone. And if I can find a nice bush to dip into as well, that would be even better. This game might end up with a bot dying from storm because it's in a weird position. Now find a nice little spot just to cover yourself. So if someone's peeking over the top, they can't really see. Just make sure, always keep an eye out until the storm's got to where you are because someone could still come up behind me. So always just keep checking behind you. The tree's kind of cover, go, uh, covering me from up there. I'm covered this angle from the rock in front of me. So just keep an eye out behind you and make sure no one's bopping around this way. Because you never know. Someone could just pop over there and come behind you and lazy you. It's happened to me a few times. I'm just going to wait till this storm closes and then see where the next one is. Again, I might win this one from... Um, I might win this one from a... They might die in the storm. Because it's a weird angle this is set. Like I say, always just watch out until that storm's completely closed right behind me. Then I know no one's really going to be in it because if they are in it, it's going to be hurting them for like 8 damage at this point, I think. DPS, 5 DPS of storm damage. And when that closes... It's going to think it jumps to 8 at this point. So now I'm kind of thinking, just waiting for the next storm to see where I've got to go. Just chill. Don't need to panic. Just relax. See, now the storm's ticking for 8. Right, so I'm quite safe here now. So now I know I've got good position. The other person's probably going to be on the top here. And they're going to have to come down this way. This is probably what way they're going to be coming. Because they were up here to keep the height. But now they're going to have to manoeuvre down. They're not going to come down the mountain. They're probably going to come this way down here. Or maybe from this angle here. So right, I want to start moving now. But always keep in cover just in case no one's shooting me from the top. Again, this is just an example of the sort of things that are going through my mind as I'm doing the game. I don't want to stay in the open too much. Right, there's a little hut there. I want to get to that because that's cover. Whereas they might be in the hut. There they are there. So right, I want to get to cover. And chill in the hut. I know where they are now. Imagine that's a person. I know where they are. They don't know where I am. So now I'm watching their movements. I'm trying to work out what kind of player are they. Whether they're a kind of a new player or whether they're a sweat. What they're going to do. I'm just waiting for an, opp an opportunity to laser them. Right, they've seen me. So now, now I know I've been spotted. So now I've got to start building to defend myself. Again, I could kill this person straight away. It's a bot. But I'm just sort of giving an example. So now I've got to build. I'm in the safety zone, so don't worry too much. If they start lasering your structure, just keep rebuilding the walls. I know they're below me, so I don't need to panic too much. There's only one person, so I know where he is. Try and just look around, use the angle, see where he is. Keep an eye on him. See where he's going. Uh, each end game is going to be different, but like I said, there he is, he's over there. So now I know where he is. I can pop out now and just fire a couple of shots, for example. I'm trying to keep this as realistic as possible. So now I know I'm safe again. So I can just build a little bit more. And just finish them off. And that's the best sort of way that I can explain and just show you how I go through a game. Obviously it's not going to be as easy as that because... Um, you're going to be up against uh, people that can build and people that got good accuracy. But each storm, I'm always stopping just on the edge of the storm, just inside it, and I'm waiting to see where the next storm's going to be. I'm always, I'm always watching where the next storm's going to be. Do you know what I mean? We'll try a different one. I'll show you another quick guide, just quickly. I'm not going to do the whole thing. But I can just leave this and I'll, I'll show you from a different POI, again, what the thought process is here. And hopefully these will find, you'll find them a bit helpful. I know this video is going to be a little bit long, but I'm hopefully I can show you a few tips and stuff like that. Like I said, I can only show you so many tips in one video because the storm's a certain way. Do you get what I mean? Each game's different. So if I do another one... Then I'll land somewhere else and then I can show you, maybe the storm will be really far away this time and then I can show you a different way of what I'm thinking when the storm's far away, do you know what I mean? So, it'll be a bit of a long video, but it 
it could be quite useful to you if you're just starting out but never stand still never never walk slowly in the open because there'll always be somebody ready to pop out from a building and lazier always keep on the move always keep jumping so if someone shoots you they may hit you once or twice but then they can't just burn you down in a second because if you're stationary they will just annihilate you I've seen a few people do that just kind of moving a bit too slow you want to always be moving Go Call of Duty. Whoa, it's even worse. Jesus Christ, you've got to be moving like 300 miles an hour all the time. It's nuts. So we'll go and land at Craggy Cliffs here. Again, once you learn your POI inside out, then you'll, you'll, you know where everything is. You kind of know what you're doing. You know what you're doing before you even land there. You know exactly where you're going to land. You know what route you're going to go. You know what way you're coming out of that POI. The only difference is where the storm is and... The people that land there that's it right so we'll go to craggy cliffs hopefully this will be miles so right, we'll glide. like i said i just want to give you two different versions because that one that was what i'd be thinking if the storm is close to me but whereas this one hopefully the storm will be a little bit far away and maybe i'll get caught in the first storm i'm not leaving a i'm not leaving a poi until i've got everything i want i don't care if i'm in the storm <laughs> i'll just make sure i pick up three med kits after the third storm, you can drop the med kits because they're not going to be much use to you because the storm's going to be ticking for too much if you get caught in it. And honestly, when you get near the end game, the final three or four people, you're most of the time you're not going to have time to spend 10 seconds using the med kit. They're going to be burning your structure down or you're going to have to move for the storm again because each time the storm, the timer for the storm gets shorter and shorter. So right, I'm landing at Craggy Cliffs. Again, I know exactly where I'm going. I know that I'm going to come through this roof. I know there could be a chest in the roof. One the layer below and one at the bottom i know there's barrels there so i can get full shield so i kind of know exactly what i'm doing so as i'm coming in now i'm just having a little uh, little eye out see if i can hear anyone or see anyone else landing with me there's two up there okay but i've got i've got the good height sort of thing so i've got the advantage i can get to the stuff before them right you get through here as quick as possible because you don't want to get lazy there see there's that one chest there shield tack nice I already know that when I come down here I can get up to full shield. Always important, no matter if you hear someone, just try and get your shield off as soon as possible. Right, let me turn that volume up a little bit. So now I'm just dossing about, waiting for the storm. I can see the storm now, let's have a look. Right, it's over there, so okay. As soon as that storm comes up, I don't need to worry if I lose health here. Because I've got... Where is he? Are you coming down or what? Well, I'll come up then. Right, and then I'll just make sure... As I'm bashing these up, getting shield... Just do a little pyramid. I'm listening out for gunshots. Right, there's someone on my left. So I'm kind of getting all the stuff around here and listening out at the same time. Med kits, again, carry three med kits at the start. So now I already know where I'm going. I'm going left. I could peek over here, but I haven't got a... I'll go and kill these. Again, always move fast, don't stay still. <laughs> Fucking stupid bots. <laughs> Do you see that? He blew himself up. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Now I know I've got my medkits sorted, so that's one less thing I've got to worry about now. I've got enough medkits, so the storm is not a problem. There's another shield there. And now I'll go back to my little route that I go on. So like I said, this is all second nature because I know where I'm going. I've done it so many times, I don't even need to look where everything is. I'm already sort of thinking in my head what I'm doing. Right, if I can't find a better assault rifle, I'm looking at the map. If I can't get a better assault rifle, I know there's the Spire woman here. And she drops a purple one. So okay, right, if I can't get a better rifle, I can get one there. I already know there's an upgrader here as well. If I get a green one, I can upgrade it to a Scar. 
I know I've got enough medkits to get across here. I know where all the mats are. The woods here, the bricks here. Gar uh, close the car so I can drive up here and come across this bridge. But there's sometimes quite a few people coming across here. So I want to try and come from this angle. And Pleasant Park is going to be quite a busy area. So I'm already, all these things I've already got going through my head. Again, I don't need to worry about the storm because I know I've got three medkits now. I can just take as much time as I want. I already know that I can make it out the storm easily with two medkits to spare. Right, there's another chest in there. I'm not going to go and get all the chests. You know what I mean? Try and look now. Now I'm kind of right. I've got enough shields, got enough med kits, got shotgun, got SMG. Now I'm trying to look for my assault rifle, and then I'm good to go. I maybe get a few more mats. All right, more. Let's go. All right, and then I'll come up this way to the upgrader, because when most people land at Craggy Cliffs, they land over this part here. If I get all my stuff just sort of upgraded now, if you need to. Uh, Pop up. Oh, this is more like a guide for craggy cliffs. Oh, that's her smashing through my stuff. So I know where all the bunker, I know the bunker chest where that is as well. I don't go for it straight away because quite a few people can land on that at the very first thing they go for. Now I'm looking around here. Okay, how many cars have I got? Oh, I've got enough cars. One clamped there. That one's not clamped. That one's not clamped. That one is clamped. So, okay, I can get mechanical parts if I need them. And I've got a car to sort of get away. I come here, I can hear the special chest. We've got P90. There's still no assault rifle. Oh, there, there we go, assault rifle. Right, so now I already know how many cars are here. Do you know what I mean? So... Watch out for flying cars. They <laughs> went over there, did you see that? Miles away. So you haven't got a rush. I mean, you can just take your time. I've cleared out the area. The storm's coming as well, so I know that not many people are going to be here because they're going to be like, oh, shit, the storm's coming. I've got to run. It's going to kill me. So I know most people are already going to be on their way to sort of here. So I don't panic. Don't panic. Fucking hell. See how many got from there? So what I'll do is... Like I said, I just look on the storm as just... I don't know. I don't go, oh shit, storm, don't touch it, don't touch it. I just, who cares? It's just a storm. Like I say, it's only in Storm 3, that you, the end of Storm 3, that you really need to start worrying. It's only going to tick for one. There's so much healing. Uh, let's upgrade this first. Then I'll use my mechanical parts. That way you haven't got a... Oh no, I should have made it and then... Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> now I know that... I ain't done a lot here in these buildings, like looted them. Now I already know there's a lot of brick up here. So I could go through here now and loot all these. But I'm not going to... Always smash tills up as well. But like I say, always moving. Always keep moving. Now look, I've got plenty of time to spare. I've got three medkits and the storm's there. I know I can easily make it. So just get, get a few mats. They're all fighting in the storm. Let them fight. I'll just carry. Uh, they're all fighting in the safety zone. I'll just chill there. The next storm's right over there. See, now I'm looking at this, and I don't want to go through Pleasant Park because I know that's going to be quite a sweaty area. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe if we come through Stealthy Stronghold way, or around the back of Stealthy Stronghold. I don't use it yet. You only need to use it when it gets to ten or above ten. Once it drops to under ten, you ain't gonna have enough time. So the first storm, when you've got ten seconds left, then use it. So I don't need to go up her there now and get, um, what do you call it, the um, myth, uh, epic rifle, so I don't need to worry about her. There we go, just pop it before 10 on the first one. So now I'm already planning, okay, I want to go sort of this way, because there's a lot of bushes and shit here that I can use. I've got one minute before the next storm starts ticking, so it's just going to tick for one for like the next two and a half minutes. I've still got two medkits, which is fine. Like I say, you ain't got really got to worry here. No one's going to attack you. You're not really going to have anyone in the storm like I am. They're already 
they're already making their way to the next safety zone, do you know what I mean? So you're pretty much safe like this. Occasionally you might bump into one person, but it's like one game out of every 100, do you know what I mean? It's not... Behind the storm you're quite safe. But a lot of people want to get out of the storm as soon as possible, but sometimes use it to your advantage. You don't need to get out of it as soon as possible. Now obviously it's gonna the storm's gonna be moving the faster. Well, let me just get out of this quickly. Find a nice little safe spot. I'm quite safe here, I know I am. No one's gonna bang me from here on this time. Now the storm's gonna start moving faster past you if you're like where my white marker is, like here, because the storm's got a longer way to travel. So you ain't gonna be able to outrun it, so you are gonna need medkits. But here, because I'm closer, the storm's gonna be moving slower, so I can outrun it. Do you see what I'm saying? Now watch what I mean. Look, I dip in the storm. Because I'm closer, look, watch, ready? I can outrun it. Because it's got less distance to travel from here to here than it has from here to here. So you can just... Sometimes you can just... I'll run out the storm, run in a straight line, look how quick I get out of it. And then, because I know it's moving like this, watch, I can arch around like this. And then come a bit of a safer way rather than going through Pleasant Park. I know where that's where a lot of trouble is. Because the storm's moving slower, it's like, right, I'm thinking I'll get to that bush, and then I'll have a little quick look for a couple of seconds. Because the storm's not going to overtake me. There's a couple of bunker chests around here as well. Right, have a quick check. Okay, nobody about. Right, now move again. I, I kind of create little checkpoints in my head. Right, I know there's bushes around here. I'm already kind of thinking that I want to get to that island. But I already know there's an NPC there that's going to laser me. So again, just stop, have a quick check, creep about, no one about, alright. Don't worry too much. I get behind this tree first. If I can get a little bit ahead, I can heal up. Because I don't want to be coming across someone when I'm on 45 health. Even if I lose a little bit of health when this storm passes me, it's better to have 80 health than 45 health. And I got worried because I know the water, I can outswim it easily. So now I'm just kind of looking all this direction. I'm just trying to think of getting to that island, that bush there. I'm just trying to watch out for people. Trying to get there unscathed. And then I can look where I've got to go to after that. Right, I can hear gunfire here, so now I've got to be a little bit careful of what I'm coming up to. Let the NPC kill it. Don't you kill it. Don't get involved. Same with... The same with sweats. Let them fight it out. I think that's one less person. Now deal with him. There. Let him kill each other and then get involved. Is there someone else there? Oh no, he's armed. Right, get him out of the way. Just have a quick check. Get all the stuff as quick as can. Don't stand in the open because someone would have heard the gunfire. Try and find a new little safety spot and you can have a quick couple of seconds to look where you got to go. Right, now you're in a bush. Safe. Let's have a look. Right, now look where you got to go. Right, I've got to come across here. So I don't want to go across all this Coral Castle shit because I'm going to have to come up this hill and everything. And you can be lasered by someone from the top down on there. So you don't want to come from that way. So I'm thinking of coming across here and swimming around the edge of this sea and then come creeping up to the back of this island this way because like I say if you come up here it's a hill if you come up here it's a hill and someone could be at the top and just laser down on you and you, they've got the high ground so like I say right now I'm thinking move now and like I say these are just little strategic things you kind of think of see I don't, that's the hill I don't want to come up because I'm wide open there everyone can see me whereas in the water they can still see you but it's a little bit harder to hit you when you're swimming because you can kind of do it erratic moves you can like swim like like that it makes it a little bit harder for them to hit you always try and keep an eye out as well on your left what's going on I know I'm safe that side keep an eye on your left keep an eye in front of you right get to the bush see the bush there that's where I'm going 
Be on guard as soon as you come out. Make sure there's no one in the bush. Have a check. Be on guard. Ready to pump. Nope, no one here. Okay, cool. Now we just wait here for the next... Wait here for this storm to finish. So now I don't need to move. I can see there's five people left. And again, this is just a bot lobby, but if this is a real game, this is kind of what I'd be thinking. Five people left. I'm in the safety zone. I'm well covered in this bush. I don't need to move. Just wait. Maybe that'll go down to three people. That's two less people for me to kill. I don't need to do anything erratic at the moment. Because I might move over to that main island and the storm might set where I am now. Right, they're fighting. Right, now I know that two are there. I'm one, so that's one person. There's two over there, so that's three. So there's just two more people. So now try and keep an eye out where the other two are. Try and figure out where everybody is. Right, now I've got to move over to that island. So I know I'm going to have to do... This is where it gets a little bit tricky when you get to the end game against the sweats. Because they'll normally have... A building set up already maybe here on this top corner here or maybe over here waiting for people to come across here or here so they can laser them so now, now what you're trying to do is figure out where everybody is and like I say I know where two are they're to my right so while they're busy pissing about with each other I mean, if you can get a couple of shots off all good Just try and get across this water as soon as possible. Right, push up the top there. That's where I'm going. Don't worry about him. Right, there's two up there, fine. So there's one there, there's two up there. So that's so now there's just one more. I don't know where he is. And like I say, the key is always trying to figure out where everyone is. Because then you know where you can manoeuvre. I know most of them are all on this side of me now. Uh, it might be one there. It might be fighting with Raven or whatever her name is. Up this side. He hasn't seen me. Just creep up this side. In the bush, you don't need to move for the storm yet because it ain't come up your arse yet. Now just have a little look about, little checkpoint. You're in your checkpoint now. Now just try and have a little figure out where everybody is. There's one. There's another one here. There's another one. You can give him a little laser. Right, people heard that, so quick, get into cover again. And again, I'm trying to keep this under what it would be like in a normal game. You don't want to build too early because the storm. Right, there's one. He's collecting the loot. Oh, that's a bit of rag. Get back in there. You don't want to build too early because the storm moves. Oh, the storm moves now. Do you get what I mean? And you don't want to waste too many mats early on because when it gets to the moving storm at the end, you're gonna have no mats left. So you want to try and leave building to the last moment so you've got enough mats to see you through if it goes into a bit of a build fight when the storm's moving. There's nothing worse with someone on height and raining bullets down and you ain't got any mats to build. Right, there's the next one, shit. Right, there's one more. Now you need to start thinking about building. So we're trying to try and get to that safety zone. There's one more left. He's going to be over there somewhere. I know he's not behind me because I've just come from there. So he's going to be across there somewhere. And again, I'm treating this as a real person rather than a bot. There he is there. So now I know where the last person is. So now I'm trying to think, okay, they're right there. How am I going to get across here without getting seen? But then I don't need to because, look, the storm's right there. So I can take the high ground here. Move a little bit for me. Now you want to start building. Because now the advantage is in my favour. Now he's got to come to me. So I can just chill here. Make sure you don't get yourself bowed in the head. Now just wait for him. He's got to come across here now. Or he's going to die to storm. Is there he is there. Oh no, don't... Don't talk to me about him. Is he stuck on the mountain? Hey, I hit him. You don't know which way to go. Look, he's confused. Now, if that as a player, they'd be trying to come over to me. But it's completely in your control there. Because they've got to come to you. So you can just build a little structure and just laser them. I know, don't talk to me of my aim. <laughs> but there we go. That's kind of two different games. And that's kind of explaining. I'm trying to give you a bit of an insight into what goes through my head where I'm... 
I'm using... I already know where I'm going. I've already got it set in my mind. I'm not running around going, ah, oh, shit, I need some heals. Where can I get heals? I already know, all right, I'm going to be running a bit lower health. I know I can go over here and use a bonfire. Or I know there's some chests over here that will probably have a med kit. Or there's, I don't know, there's a little, there could be a little fishing pool over there that I can get. I know where everything is. So I know whatever situation I'm in, I can, regarding getting to safety and manoeuvring about people. I think the key is, if building is not your strongest point, then... The key is awareness. Just being aware of where everybody is and where everything is. Like I said before earlier on, you might see a bonfire that you don't need at the time, but just remember where that is because then in a couple of games later, you might be running through that place with low health and then you can go, oh yeah, shit, there's a bonfire there. I saw it the other day. Try and remember where everything is on the map. Uh, don't stand out in the open because you will get lasered. Always try and move... When you're coming from the storm, always try and create little checkpoints. Right, get to this bush, have a little look about. Right, now get to the behind this tree, have a little look about. Then get to behind this rock, have a little look about. Don't just run in a straight line directly to the safety zone. Do little checkpoints. Get ahead, stop. Get ahead, stop. Get ahead, stop. You know what I mean? Bit by bit. Don't just try and do the whole run in one go because you don't know who you're coming up against. So there we go. That's just a little insight. I'm not going to say you're going to do this and you're going to win hundreds of games and stuff like that. But it just shows how they'll be a little bit more aware and of what's going on, where people are. Then obviously I could have killed all them easy, they're bots. But I was trying to be a bit more, show you a bit more in the end game what goes through my head while I'm trying to work out where everybody is. Like I say, right, I can hear shots there, that's two people. Right, I've just seen one run there, that's three people. There's me, that's four people. But there's still five left, so there's one that I don't know where he is. Do you get what I mean? But then when you know where everyone is, then it, you know where you can manoeuvre. Do you see what I'm saying? You can go, right, I know where they all are now, so I can moon over this way because I know no one's there because they're all over there. Do you see what I mean? It's just being aware of where everybody is. That way you're not going to be open to a surprise attack. Anyways, I hope that helps. And like I say, it's, it's more of a guide for beginners that have just started playing the game and they're looking to get a foothold and work it all out and everything. And again, I can't stress how important it is to know a POI inside out. Know where every chest is, every good brick is for brick where all the pallets are for wood, how you can get metal, how you can get healing, how you can upgrade, how you can get out of that POI quickly if you've got to move for the storm, you know what I mean? Learn a POI inside out. And then once you've learned that POI inside out, you've mastered that, then learn a new POI inside out. So you've got two, or even three or four, that you know that you can land at, and you can go around it and be perfectly safe. Like I say, I've got two main ones, Misty Meadows and Craggy Cliffs. I know them inside out, so as soon as I land, I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. And it doesn't matter how far the storm is, I know all the little things along that route that can keep me alive. Do you know what I mean? So learn the POI inside out, and once you've done that, learn another POI inside out. So if the bus route's a little bit shitty on one of them, you can go, oh, I'm not going to land on that one because it's going to be too sweaty. I can land at this one instead. It's a little bit more out of the way. It'll be a bit of an easier start than landing at that one. Do you get what I mean? Anyways, all the best. I hope that helped and thank you for watching and feel free to like and subscribe if it does help you. And again, it's just more of a, a beginner's guide because I know a lot of people are just starting out and they're a bit, a little bit lost. Well, where am I going? Where's the chests? What do I do? A little bit. So hopefully this will give you some little guides as to how to move through the game a little bit more stealthily and what to watch out for. And like I say, be aware of everything and where all the things are. Anyways, all the best. Thank you for watching and yeah, until next time and take care.